Rajon Rondo allegedly pulled gun on mom of kids, threatened her life during outburst. We got some really atypical news for this channel. And to be honest, it's very dark, unfortunately. Now, typically whenever videos like this are made, they tend to get demonetized. And if they get demonetized, it means YouTube won't push it out to a larger audience because YouTube can't make any revenue off of it. So you could counteract that by leaving a like on this video. And of course you could support the channel by subscribing and turning on our notifications. Now that we got all that out of the way, cue the intro. Check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? Without a doubt, we could all agree that Rajon Rondo is one of the most legendary guards of the 2010s. As a matter of fact, his career longevity is also very impressive at that. Because once Rajon Rondo ended his career with the Boston Celtics, he morphed himself into a journeyman and eventually a very useful role player. He's by no means the same player that he once was, of course he's not, but at the very minimum, he's a player that is respected throughout the entire league and is a multi-time NBA champion. He's played with multiple NBA Hall of Famers and as a result has the respect of a lot of individuals. So when this report came out in regards to Rajon Rondo, it definitely raised some eyebrows and it's definitely not a report that you ever want to hear about any individual at all whatsoever. So the latest that's gone on with Rajon Rondo is his career kind of slumped ever since he left the Los Angeles Lakers after after he won a championship with the Los Angeles Lakers. He signed with the Atlanta Hawks. Then he got traded to the Los Angeles Clippers. Then he decided to rejoin the Lakers, hoping to find a similar type of success and a similar role with that organization. And then got traded to the Cleveland Cavaliers. He's been playing sparingly at this point, about 20 minutes per game. So it's safe to say that his career is definitely winding down. But I think after this information that we're getting today, at least my assumption is, I don't know if you could expect to see Rajon Rondo in the NBA anymore. Now, bear in mind, at the time that I'm bringing you this information, we're still trying to gather more details on the situation. So I'm going to make sure to keep you guys posted on that. But here's what we know so far. According to TMZ Sports, Rajon Rondo allegedly pulled a gun on the mother of his children and threatened her life during a heated altercation. And the woman claims that their kids witnessed the entire thing. So right away, if that didn't catch your attention, just wait until you hear the rest of the details of this because this is absolutely gruesome to hear and bear in mind this is all allegedly i'm sure we know based off of the state of how things are going currently in our world there's currently the johnny depp and amber heard trial and i'm not saying that whatever she is alleging isn't necessarily true but at the same time it's important to try to remain objective to these types of situations because after all we ourselves weren't there now it continues to say that tmz sports has learned that 36 year old Old Ashley Bachelor, Rondo's former partner and the mother of his two kids, filed for an emergency protective order in Louisville last week, requesting protection for her, her son, and her daughter. And the story she tells about the alleged incident is terrifying. So Bachelor says that Rajon Rondo, a two-time NBA champion and a four-time NBA all-star, was playing video games with his son on May 11th. Now, when Ashley asked the boy to separate laundry, Bachelor says Rajon Rondo became enraged and ripped the game console out of the wall in front of the kid. So right away, I'm thinking there's something that we're not getting here. You mean to tell me that Rajon Rondo is sitting down playing video games with his son, life is good. And then the mother of his children walks in, asks the child to separate the laundry. And as a result, Rajon Rondo got very upset at the mother of his child asking the child to separate laundry. And as a result, they got into a heated altercation. I don't mean to take a side here. I'm just saying there's a gigantic piece of the story that seems to be missing because this is basketball. You know, you can't make the NBA player has CTE argument with all due respect. 
So by default, I'm not going to assume that Rajon Rondo is quick to jump into anger. There's a huge piece of the story that I am assuming, you can assume what you want, but I am assuming is missing so far. Now, Ashley then says that Rajon Rondo continued the destructive behavior, smashing everything from a teacup to outdoor lights and trash cans. Bachelor says the kids were upset after witnessing their dad losing it. So she tried to de-escalate the situation, but she says Rajon responded by making a death threat allegedly saying you're dead okay i'm i'm really sorry but like this is what i'm picturing in my head right now and i'm very sorry if this is insensitive but i'm imagining rajon rondo playing video games this woman coming in asking the child to separate the laundry and then rajon rondo threatening the woman's life as a result of it this sounds ridiculous to me with all due respect i mean just putting this story together it just sounds like there's a huge chunk missing so far and it sounds ridiculous to me i'm not saying it didn't happen, but I feel like there's a huge part of the story that we're not getting so far. Now, apparently Rondo temporarily left the home and according to Ashley, before returning about 15 minutes later, he allegedly approached a back door and began banging on the window with his gun. Bachelor says that she didn't know what was going on, so she approached the door from the inside to take a look. She allegedly saw Rondo with the weapon and asked him to stop because he was scaring her. She says Rondo didn't listen and instead yelled, go get my son. Now it gets even crazier than this. Ashley says that she feared that if she didn't comply with the alleged gun wielding hoop star, that something bad may happen. So she brought their son Pierre downstairs, but kept the back door closed. Soon after Ashley says Pierre opened the door and Rondo yanked him outside. Bachelor says that Rondo, who was still allegedly holding his gun, was screaming at Pierre, asking why the boy was scared of his dad. Ashley, who claims her son was visibly upset, says she didn't intervened because she was scared Rajan would shoot her. So for those of you guys that don't know who Pierre is, you guys know that iconic picture of Rajan Rondo winning a championship with the Los Angeles Lakers. He's like sitting down on the ground and behind him, his son is drinking. Is that champagne? I'm unsure if that's champagne or cider, but either way, so that's who Pierre is. Now, obviously you can't judge an entire relationship based off of one moment, but I just thought that I should give you guys an image so you guys could put the story together for yourselves. Now, now, apparently Rajon Rondo eventually demanded that their daughter also comes outside where she claims he yelled at both kids for being afraid of him. I'm sorry, it just, I there's so much to this story and I'm really glad that TMZ is at least saying alleged because there's just so much to the story that doesn't make sense. So you mean to tell me Rajon Rondo is sitting down with his kids playing video games. The mom comes in or the mother of his child comes in, asks Pierre to separate the laundry. As a result, Rajon Rondo gets really upset at the fact that she asked Pierre to separate the laundry. He, as a matter of fact, gets so upset that he rips the game console out of the wall in front of Pierre, then proceeded to smash a teacup to outdoor lights and trash cans, then looked at the woman and threatened her life, literally saying, you're dead, then leaving the home and then returning 15 minutes later with the weapon. Now, bear in mind, when someone removes themselves from a situation for 10 to 15 minutes, naturally, the immediate reaction is they tend to calm down. They tend to think over their actions. So going out for 15 minutes and returning with a weapon and banging on the window saying, yo, here's a weapon, I'm threatening your life, just sounds so insane to me. And then afterwards, he goes out and says, go get my son, and then yells at his son, asking his son, why are you afraid of me? So this isn't over yet because a Apparently what happened is after Rajon Rondo demanded their daughter comes outside, where Bachelor claims that he yelled at both of the kids for being afraid of him, Rajon Rondo's mom and dad both arrived at the home. And although they didn't have much success in calming down Rajon, she claims that he eventually left the scene. But now Bachelor says she's scared for the safety of her and her kids, writing the following in the emergency order of protection on May 13th, saying, I am extremely fearful for my safety and for the safety of my children. Rajon John has a history of volatile, erratic, explosive behavior. He is verbally, emotionally, and financially abusive. He physically hits our son and calls him names like puss and accuses him of acting like a bitch. Rajan verbally assaults our daughter. He calls her names like thought 
kid. Rajan has made several threats on my life, saying at various times that he will shoot me or shoot up my car. Ashley Bachelor was granted protection for herself and her two children by a local judge. So there's actually been an update to the situation so far. Apparently at 2.43 Pacific time, a judge who signed off on the protective order has ordered Rondo to temporarily stay at least 500 feet away from Ashley and their kids. Ashley has also been awarded temporary custody of the two children. Rajan has also been ordered to temporarily turn over his firearms to the court. Now the court's granting of the emergency protective order isn't an indication of the ferocity of the claims within it. It's simply a temporary order until the parties can get before a judge and argue the merits of a protective order. Now the NBA is apparently aware of this situation and they released a comment on this situation in a statement sent to ESPN's Malika Andrews. NBA spokesperson Mike Reese commented the following saying, we are aware of the report and are in the process of gathering more information. So here's the thing, man. Ever since the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial, I've been a little bit more careful with automatically siding with the report that came out. And I try to put a lot more thought into analyzing each and every situation. And this just sounds very out of the blue. Now, I'm not saying that I know Rajan Rondo personally. I don't know anything about this man's mental health at all whatsoever, but I feel like there's bits of this story that are missing. And hopefully as time goes on, we're going to get more information in regards to the situation. But for now, this is an absolute absurd situation. And all I could really comment on this aside from my natural skepticism is I'm praying for Rajan Rondo and his family. That picture they took with his son two years ago was a really iconic photo for Laker fans. And I hope happier times are ahead for all those that are involved in the situation. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about all this. Aside from that, I'm your boy, Mike, and I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.